welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. And now, now we can all be in the holiday spirit, right? Thanksgiving is gone, it's over. We can all be happy and cheerful, which you should always be happy and cheerful. But now you can put a little bit of a Christmas twist to it. Eat your peppermint, drink your peppermint, do whatever you want with peppermint. Crumble has peppermint. Peppermint brownie, candy cane brownie, whatever you want to call it. I, I don't really know the name, but hopefully this one has plenty of peppermint. I know the past cookies have had some issues in terms of having a strong flavor profile with peppermint, especially peppermint cupcake with that cream cheese icing. This time it's butter uh, buttercream. Um, plenty of peppermint should be on this thing. It has peppermint in the brownie base, peppermint in the icing. So we're, we're all getting excited for this. But, uh, you know, I've just been in a really good mood lately. Like, there's no reason. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm just feeling like I'm in my moment. And maybe it's because before I go into work today, I've been off since Wednesday at 5. Maybe it's just that extended time off. And I've gotten to be myself and reflect on myself and be at peace with life. And so, who knows what to expect. Maybe I can keep my moment going and uh, keep a positive attitude. But, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this review, why don't we? So, uh, please subscribe. Like and comment on this video. Likes are important. Comments are important. I know sometimes I don't respond right away, but it does come even if it's a month away. Um, so, new cookie, the Star Peppermint Brownie, the one I'm really excited for. Um, frozen Hot Cocoa is back. They've done two types of hot cocoa flavors, hot and frozen. The, the warm one just tastes like a chocolate cookie. That's why I prefer frozen, because you can taste it in the frosting. So anyways, um, we'll get to it. We'll, we'll talk about it. And that's your thumbnail! All right, so, of course, y'all know what y'all want. Y'all want peppermint brownie. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go ahead and cut into these. Now, Kimmy, she had a few questions about, A, you know, Butterfinger, it changed. And she's worried about if it'll have enough chocolate or Butterfinger pieces in it. And then, B, if there's milk chocolate chips in the bases for these cookies. I don't think there are. Ooh, this one's hard to cut into. I wish I had something better to cut with today but i don't so i'm just picking the whole thing up and i'm mutilating it per se but we're getting there i'm i'm so sorry this is a delay that y'all didn't ask for but we're here no there's no doesn't seem to be any chocolate chips which we don't need that in peppermint brownie no we do not nope 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 all right Mm. It hits you with a very good amount of peppermint. Um, I'm just trying to process. Do I think it's perfect? No, I, I... I do really appreciate that, though. I think it's it's hitting really well. Um, the buttercream, not really sweet, which it... To me, it looks more of like a whipped consistency, which works really well. Um, it lets the, the flavor kind of sit better. Is this a little too chocolatey? Maybe so. Maybe so. They could, maybe they could have left the ganache off, put some more peppermint pieces on there, and it could be a bit stronger. But I really like this cookie. And the peppermint's still kind of ringing in there. So I'm going to give it a 9. I still think it's very good. It's got your chocolate and your peppermint. This is what I want. Um... You know, this is the issue we've had in the past where it's not enough peppermint. And I think it's 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 really a big improvement. So props to Crumble. I'll give that a, a 9 out of 10. It is a chill cookie. Keep that in mind. So maybe you want to heat it up. That's your choice. All right. So triple berry cobbler. I'm, I mean, cream cheese on this is not the worst thing. Um, you know, it's, it's an oatmeal cookie. And you got fruit. So it's not the worst thing. But... I I just don't think it's, it's right, right? You know, to me, it just doesn't have rhyme or reason. And the, the, the thing is, is that, you know, when I'm eating cobbler, I don't think about putting cream cheese on my cobbler. I think about ice cream. I think about 
a sweet vanilla or some whipped cream, you know? I, I don't want cream cheese, that's a distraction. But uh, again, oatmeal base, very gooey. And let's try it again. Yeah, I mean, I like this cookie a lot. There's a lot to it that's really good. The, the oatmeal base, fantastic with the triple berries. I think it's blueberry, strawberry, and raspberry. And then, you know, it's nice to have a little bit of a filler in there. Some, some light icing. And the cream cheese is not too abrasive this time. But I would definitely prefer, like... Give me some whipped cream icing, right? Or, you know, give, give me some whipped icing. Don't give me cream cheese. It, it throws in a little bit of distraction. So eight and a half for me. Um, still solid work. All right, moving on to frozen hot cocoa. I can't remember if this was on the lineup last year. They left one out. And I really think they left the regular hot chocolate. I would hope they left the regular hot chocolate off the menu. But I don't remember. I had one as a mystery cookie. And it would be sad if we've gone over a year, almost two years without this, but I don't remember for sure. Now, Kimmy wanted to know if this thing had chocolate chips in it. I don't think it does. Her other concern was the texture of the icing. She didn't like it last time. Um, and it might be because, again, you're you're mixing cocoa powder in this thing. Ooh, my hat. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and try it out. To me, the texture is very silky, very light. Um, it's solid. Again, they hit that hot cocoa flavor really well. The the icing there, or whatever you call it, is is very cocoa forward. Um, do I like it as much as the other two cookies we just had? No, but I think it's a very very solid cookie, um, and it's kind of refreshing. You know, it's it's definitely refreshing. Um, and it really gives that cocoa flavor a nice little bit of attention. So, uh, I'll give it eight. I, I think an eight's good. Um, y'all are like, he needs to hand out lower ratings, but we'll get there. We'll get there when we get to Kate Batter Blondie. I show no mercy to that cookie. All right, so they changed Butterfinger. Uh, it's no longer a pool of chocolate. It's more of a drizzle, but they seem like they drizzled it just fine. Um, maybe not enough. Butterfinger pieces, but um, whenever they say they've mixed candy in, I just don't think they do a lot of it. Or at least my cookies don't ever come out with a lot of mix ins for whatever reason. But we'll take a look at it just to verify. Yeah, I mean, I, I just I don't think they really truly fill them. It's more about what's on top than putting Butterfingers on top of this thing. So I don't blame them particularly for changing this thing up a little bit. It's very similar to Reese's, which Reese's is still an amazing cookie. This is an amazing cookie. But I don't blame them for trying to change it up some, right? It's less chocolatey. So... Maybe there is less chocolate to it. That's not it's not hitting as good as usual. It's just okay. Um hmm. yeah. It's mostly just a, a normal peanut butter cookie with a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of butterfinger, and I want more of it all. I want more butterfinger, I want more chocolate on top. Wow. This is this is a huge drop, but it's gonna be a six. Again, it tastes good, but I don't know. It's leaving me unsatisfied. So, uh, just be warned. Butterfinger has taken a step down, folks. Change it back. All right. Finishing it off with confetti cake. Not confetti cake. Well, cake batter blondie. I'm so stupid sometimes. But you have to excuse my ignorance. And let me live life. Okay. So, cake batter blondie. It's got white chips. It's supposed to be like a cake batter flavor. And it's got rainbow sprinkles. To me, honestly, it's just 
a sugar cookie with white chocolate chips. I may have given this thing a seven before. I'm leading myself to probably get it, give it a six. But again, we always try it. It does have like an interesting dynamic to it with the cake batter flavor. Um, and it's not totally bland, like it's lingering. It's got those melty white chips. And as much as I want to convince myself to say maybe that's like a six and a half, I think it's a seven. I think it's good. I don't think it's really good or great or amazing, but I think it's good, it's solid. It has its own key things to it. Slightly bland, but not as bland as some of these other sugar cookies. Like confetti cookie, or you know, the, the just the the one the, the sprinkles without that stuff. I think that's that's where you get into really bland territory. You know, if it's just like a regular sugar cookie or honey bun, honey bun is just so bland. But at least it has something to it, right? So don't criticize me for not diving under five a lot. If something's like a good product, if it doesn't taste bad, like it tastes decent or solid, it's going to at least get a five. That's just how I rate. So don't hate. Let me rate. And other than that, we'll see you around. Hopefully not next week because I want to see you every day. I want y'all to watch my reviews. I'm not just the cookie man. I'm the everything man. Just like JMU. They're in everything school, not just the football school. So anyways, see y'all around. Yeah.